A million years later, after Sahelanthropus chinensis thrived, next came Aurora tuginensis, living around 6 million years ago in eastern Africa, precisely Tugan Hills of central Kenya. The name of genus Aurora means original man in Tugan, a local language of its discovery region. The species discovery is also nicknamed Millennium Man due to its remains being discovered in 2000. A handful of fossil fragments from five individuals were found in Kenya in 2000. Discovery was published a year later. The remains include several limb bones, jaw fragments, and isolated teeth. The holotype specimens are two mandible fragments. An isolated lower molar was discovered in the same area in 1974 that may belong to this species. For the brain, there is no cranial material found for this species, but probably similar in size to a modern chimpanzee, though it's not certain. Now the body. Now once again, with the lack of physical evidence there is, it's hard to say much with this mysterious ancient hominin. Probably similar in size to a modern chimpanzee. The limbs. Some features of the leg bones indicate the species was possibly bipedal. The femur was different from that of modern humans. Some features of the leg bones are found in non-bipedal primates, suggesting that this species may have not been bipedal. At the moment, the evidence is inconclusive. The most important fossil of the species would be its upper femur, showing its evidence of bone buildup typical of a biped. Features of the arms, bones, the humerus, and a curved finger bone suggest it was also adapted for climbing tree. So, Aurora and individuals climbed trees, but also probably walked upright with two legs on the ground. The teeth have thick enamel and are relatively small, although canines are relatively large and pointed compared to humans. Its diet. Now, large flat molars suggest a diet of fruit and vegetables, but it may have also been an opportunistic meat eater. Its environment. At the time, the environment was open woodland with dense tree forests. Its culture. No evidence for specifics, however, it may have used simple tools similar to those used by modern chimpanzees, such as twigs, sticks, other plant materials that were easily shaped or modified. These may have been used for a variety of simple tasks, such as obtaining food. Unmodified stones which are stones that were not shaped or altered before being used. These tools may have been used to process hard foods such as nuts. We see all these characteristics with modern day chimps. Their lifestyles couldn't have been much different from each other. By studying the modern great apes like chimpanzees and bonobos, their fascinating familiar lifestyles can give us much insight and perspective on our human evolution and origins. So a few important questions for this species. Did Auroran routinely walk on two legs? How did bipedalism originate? One hypothesis suggests early apes walked on branches while using their arms for balance and this technique eventually made its way to the ground. What is the relationship between the species and Cylanthropus chidensis? And last question, is Auroran a direct human ancestor to Homo sapiens?